we present 3D common corruptions and data augmentation. Computer vision models are profoundly unreliable in the real world. There are many distribution shifts from training data. For example motion blur, lighting, occlusions, and so on. Models are vulnerable against them. A systematic testing is needed before deploying models in the real world. In this work, we present a set of distribution shifts to achieve this. Several studies proposed corruption-based robustness benchmarks. Common Corruptions, or 2DCC, is a recent one. It was originally for benchmarking image classification models. Other works extend it to other tasks such as object detection. It only considers uniform modifications on the image. In other words, 2DCC does not use 3D information. This results in corruptions that could be unrealistic. In our work, we consider a different approach. Unlike 2DCC, we use 3D information to generate corruptions. As we will show, this results in more realistic corruptions. Now let's look at the differences closer. 3D corruptions obey parallax when generating motion blur. They can change scene depth of field and perform non-uniform blurring. Illumination changes take scene geometry into account. They also generate more realistic fog which gets denser with more distance. Occlusions also occur naturally, in contrast to 2D patches. Can we use 3D corruptions for different purposes? As visuals suggest, 3D corruptions are good approximations of real-world ones. Hence, they are useful for benchmarking model robustness. If a model performs well against them, it can do so in the real world too. Thus, we propose benchmarking with 3DCC. Second, one can also perform data augmentation using them. Being invariant to these corruptions can improve real-world robustness. Hence, we propose 3D data augmentation. Let's start with 3DCC. 3DCC includes 20 corruptions. These corruptions address different aspects of real world, such as Depth of field Object occlusions and scale changes Weather Lighting changes View changes Motion blur Video-based artifacts And noise Overall, 3DCC provides a diverse set of distribution shifts. Let's see some corruptions applied with increasing intensities. 3D motion blur Near focus which defocuses the far region. Far focus which defocuses the near part. Flash which applies non-uniform lighting to the scene. This shows increasing fog, obscuring objects far away. Progressively occluding fridge with plant. Decreasing object scale. Three DCC exposes failures not captured by two DCC. They are similar to corruptions from expensive synthesis, and they are applicable to datasets such as ImageNet and Coco. Let's see some examples. See Coco and ImageNet images under 3D CC. 3D fog. Near focusing. Far focusing.
ImageNet images with fog. Near focusing. And far focusing. Three DCC also enables fine-grained robustness analysis. Let's see some results for surface normals. See how model predictions degrade. Note that these are benchmarking results. We address improving robustness at the end. Motion blur. Near focus. Far focus. Flash. Fog. Let's also see how predictions degrade with unusual views. Changing camera roll. and camera pitch. Finally, see predictions of semantic model under occlusions. As seen, 3DCC is a challenging and realistic benchmark. Let's continue with improving robustness using 3D data augmentation. This time, we apply methods used to generate corruptions to training data. In particular, we use these corruptions. We show this augmentation adds small overhead. And it improves robustness against real-world corruptions. Performance is notably better than baselines. Plus, performance on clean data is not sacrificed. Let's see some qualitative results. We perform evaluations on DSLR data, corruptions generated via After Effects, YouTube videos, and OASIS queries for surface normals task. These are the baselines we compare against. Our model starts from O plus DPT and uses augmentations. See supplementary PDF for more results. All predictions are obtained frame by frame.
Thank you for your attention.